Supreme's Week 4 drop list is hot off the press, and they are finally releasing the item that will allow me to pursue my dreams. Patchwork leather pants. And as soon as I find a way to get those pants to my house, I'm saying to hell with Lord Fauntleroy, and hello... ...to Lord Roxalot. <laughs> Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to talk about the Supreme Week 4 drop list. Yeah! We do have a partial drop list for this week's drop, but I'm pretty sure all the heavy hitter items have been covered, unless for some reason they decide to release this Inside Out box logo that we've been seeing on different folks around town, like Ass Pizza. What a fine, upstanding citizen and walking billboard. All right. Right. This week is turning out to be a big week of drops. We obviously have Supreme coming this Thursday. On Friday, we have the Green Jordan 4s dropping. And a happy St. Patrick's Day to ya! Ah! Also, on Friday, Palace has a really cool collaboration with Porter Yoshida. We got some leaks for that stuff that's dropping from that collaboration, and it looks super fire. I for sure want to try to pick up at least a t-shirt and a hat from that collaboration. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. And do you know the one thing that could help you with all these items that are dropping this week? Proxies. And you know who has them? Our friends at IP Royal. IP Royal is that one-stop shop for all your proxy needs. But Fonte, what can help a leprechaun cop him some SB Jordans? We all know the most popular items can sell out in under a minute. Maybe not so fast! Folks over at IP Royal have some of the fastest proxies in town. Fast proxies lead to fast checkouts, which leads to you getting a lucrative shoe deal instead of this guy. Started from the bottom, now we're here. IP Royal's residential proxies come from real devices with real IP issued connections. Bots can use these proxies to mask their activity and become indistinguishable from other regular shoppers. More importantly, by using proxies as close as possible to the website's physical servers. Botters can enjoy lower latency and complete their purchases faster when using IP Royal residential proxies. And IP Royal has given the channel our very own code, FINEST30, F-I-N-E-S-T. Make sure that you use that code before the deal ends. You won't regret it. I've seen success from a lot of people using IP Royal proxies. I have not myself, but definitely I will be giving them a shot in the future. And if you're interested in checking them out, just make sure you use code FINEST30 if you do, and they'll give you 30% off. I, I, I really, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. I know that. Thanks as always to IP Royal for sponsoring the channel. Sponsors like these allow me to do the giveaways that you guys like so much, so show them some love if you can. And obviously, subscribe to the channel, okay? All that mess, notifications, whatever you need to do. All right, that said, let's get into week four. All right, here we go. First up, worst up, the crochet edge hat. I know Manny likes it, but otherwise, let's move along. Next up, we have this crock patch short sleeve work shirt. Um, it doesn't look that bad, honestly. I like that it's tonal, at least on this blue one. I guess it's crocodile faux croc or something to that effect. If you're into this, go for it. I don't think I have to tell you that it's a personal, and yeah, let's move along. Next up, we have the Supreme Larry D collaboration patchwork leather five pocket jeans. I have to say these are some awesome pants. Uh, right now, Drops has these priced at just under $400. Honestly, that seems like a decent price for these. I know Larry is very torn this week. He has to get some of that palace stuff, and he definitely needs these jeans. God help us. <laughs> so good luck to you, buddy. Hopefully it does stay about $400. But honestly, these are the best pant that's going to come out of Supreme this year. Dropping $400 on pants and expecting to make a ton off of that is always a risky move. But if you are going to do it on any pant, 
I think these are the ones you should do it on. But don't spend money you don't have. That's the number one rule. Please, if my money, that's so money. Next up, we have the work pant. Um, yeah, these are fine. There's nothing wrong with these. The price is usually a little higher than I like to pay for work pants. But if you get them for personal, I I'm sure that you'll like them just fine. Next up, we have the metallic long sleeve top. Nothing too crazy here. It says metallic cotton blend. So I think you can kind of see a little bit of sparkly metal in that sweater. Not sure if that will make it comfortable or not I don't, I don't know if you can tell it kind of just looks like you got hit with a little glitter nothing crazy again if you want a sweater you know fine get it but uh honestly this is a personal and we're gonna keep moving along don't move it won't hurt you ah! next up we have this city's patches six panel i actually kind of dig this hat i think i like almost every color except for black like that green one or the purple one they really make the patches pop out on that hat these patches are all the way around and obviously of the cities that the supreme stores reside in i don't think that there should be a ton of resale in these but they are a pretty cool hat and i might pick one up if i'm feeling frisky you got the, some big testicles to pull this off bro next up we have the flocked regular jean he has the price point on these at 188 that seems kind of high but i think of these two the red one kind of sticks out to me not really sure if that's worth trying to pick one up to resell if you're going for pants the biggest sizes are usually the best ones to go for that said there's plenty of better things to go after this week than these pants pants next up the patchwork leather vest if you're gonna get the pants i mean god damn it you gotta get the vest right i don't get vests don't understand them if i'm cold i want sleeves if i'm not cold i want nothing a vest only warms up the warmest part of your body already it's just a lazy damn jacket and i don't want to support lazy jackets moving along Next up, we have the world famous micro hooded sweatshirt. Um, it just has a little bit of text right here that says world famous on it. You're not tricking me again, Supreme, with stuff like this. Moving along. Next up, we have the flocked denim trucker jacket. Now, I kind of dig these jackets better than the pants. Obviously, everyone else does. They're up on the list higher. Same thing, I kind of dig that red jacket a little bit more than the brown. It just kind of sticks out a little bit more. 268 price point is kind of right on the border for, for what I think this could potentially do down the road. Uh, it's obviously going to depend on stock numbers on these. And I'm always a little bit scared that the non-collaboration items are just going to have a ton of stock. And that just sucks all the resale potential out of a lot of those Supreme items now. Probably better things to focus on this week than this jacket. Excuse me. Next up, we have the Block Arc Short Sleeve Top. I really don't hate this that much. I mean, it's just a supreme name across a short sleeve top. I like a few of the colorways, but at the end of the day, this is going to be a personal, so get whichever color you like. Next up, we have the Small Box Striped Sweatshirt. Kind of the same thing as the last item. These are decent, nice sweatshirts. Um, going to definitely be personals. These aren't going to resell or anything. So if you want a decent sweater, yeah, go ahead and pick one of these up. Don't be picking these up with the hopes of flipping them down the road later. I'm looking at you, Highland. That's enough. Put down the mic. And here we go, the New Era Fitted Gradient Hat. I'm pretty much all done grabbing any fitted New Era hats unless I want one for myself. I have a P head and they will not support the small-headed Union of America. They're filing a protest with Supreme as we speak. <laughs> Unless you can get size 8 in black, I would probably recommend you skip these all together unless you want them for yourself. Next up, we have the Worldwide Hooded Sweatshirt. Now, to be fair, I dig this hoodie. I have nothing wrong with it, but they've been jamming so many freaking hoodies down our throats that I I'm just not buying it anymore, Supreme. I don't really need to pay $160 for a hoodie that has your business license printed on the back of it, but God damn it, I respect it. And if it hits the sale, maybe I'll buy it. Next up, we have the Supreme Hodo 5-Piece Tool Set. Now, this is a pretty cool tool set. It comes with an electric screwdriver, a hammer, a wrench, needle nose pliers, and of course, and of course, a tape measure. And it's all wrapped up in a fun little plastic branded case. The non-branded version of these tool kits retail for about 120 so if this one does stay at about 198 that isn't really that bad of a tax. I don't really have a lot of faith in the resale of this item, but worst case scenario, you do buy it, it doesn't resell, you have a great toolkit to use in your own house. There's no money in it! Next up, we have these Supreme Tamagotchis. That's right, we've only been waiting for close to 40 years for Supreme to finally do a Tamagotchi collaboration. These things are the original NFTs. You used to care for your pet, 
I couldn't keep one alive. It would die within the first day. Not even sure how that's possible. You can't hurt me. I'm already dead. Really, really cool little nostalgic blast from the past. I would imagine that you could probably get all of them in your cart at once if you wanted to get the whole bunch. Usually with Supreme, the pink camo stuff tends to sell out faster than the rest. Then the regular camo and then the black and white snow camo, if you will. And I know that the majority of you that pick these up are gonna play with it for a couple of days, then you're gonna set it down and forget about it, and then you're gonna pick it up and see that your little kitty cat was killed because your dumbass doesn't wanna feed it. So I'm gonna just say it, do not buy a digital pet unless you're responsible enough to take care of them. Let's cut this shit, it is, it is directly your fault. And then finally, you can tell it's a banger of a week when the number one item is a set of small folding towels. If the price point on these is $78, which is what Drops is saying, I am not interested at all. I'd be a little more interested if it's under the $50 range, maybe then it's worth kind of grabbing these. But at $78, this is a 100% a personal and a very expensive towel, to be honest with you. I just use my special getting high powers one more time. All right, folks, there you have it. The week four partial drop list. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you going to go after? A digital pet? Some expensive towels? Or some killer ass rock star pants? <gasps> it's all up to you, man. Either way, I wish you luck in your copying endeavors this week. And if for some reason that this video has not given you all the Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. Control. No need to brag now. No need. And put the mask down. Mask. We live fast now. Fast. Finest. Oh.